Hi guys, um, hi my little rat gang. Um, welcome to my vlog. Today, I just got my wig. Um, I'm really excited because you guys get to see me styling my wig and stuff. And a whole bunch of other cool stuff. So, let's just get on with the video. Also, I need to get a hairbrush, so I'm gonna be right back. So wait, because I need to get a hairbrush for the wig. Because I completely forgot I got one. So, and yes, my choice. The hairbrush, um, that I'm using is a normal hairbrush, uh, because I can't find my hairbrush that I use for my wigs, because I forgot what it was I so, any hairbrush is fine, but I recommend you getting a normal hairbrush for your like a hairbrush for like that's meant for wigs so that way you don't end up having wig hair in your hairbrush and then the next thing you know it's in your hair so wouldn't recommend doing that um yeah also today I don't have background music because yeah, just because I just, so, yeah, so I'm sorry, it's just my hairbrush is like really dirty, so, okay, so here is the wig, um, so it actually came out of the actual package, um, when it came in, so, yeah, that's that, also, so, um, the wigs, each wig that you got off Amazon, um, comes with a wig cap. If yours doesn't, then that means it didn't come with a wig cap. Um, and that's just because that way it didn't come with it. So, here's my wig cap. I have a whole bunch of wig caps. So, if you, like, if I lose one, I'm completely fine. I'll be fine because I have a whole bunch of wig caps from each wig I get off Amazon. So, here's the wig cap that comes with your wig. You can stretch it out and stuff so that way like it you know um but here it is i let i like the netted wig caps because they're a lot better and more comfortable but i do have the closed wig cap um or just any normal wig cap um and i put it on top of the netted wig cap i forgot what they were called but like those wig caps that aren't netted and that have only one open end because this one has two so as you can see here so yeah uh i may put on the wig today i don't know but because i have to see how it would like fit me and stuff but yeah so today we're gonna be styling my mekong wig um now this wig i got i'm gonna put in the description box um of where i got it from and what type of wig it is but this is just a normal purple long wig with bangs. Um, it was not specified as a Mekon wig. I call it a Mekon wig because I'm going to turn this into an actual Mekon. Also, the things you're going to need for this today before I start getting the wig out of the packaging. Um, you're going to need scissors. I'm sorry. You're going to need scissors, hairbrush, um... I don't know if I'm gonna use the hairspray. I may or may not, but we'll see. Um, and just a bunch of hair combs. Hair combs, yeah. Um, any hair combs is fine, but it's best to do this so you can brush out the wig's hair and stuff, and obviously a normal comb. So you're gonna need these four things. If you don't have the hairspray and the combs that's completely fine you can use a hairbrush and scissors any scissors will be fine 
uh, if you have the professional scissors to cut actual hair or if you just use it to cut uh, wig hair, uh, you can use that too. I'm going to be using my fabric scissors, but I'm probably going to end up ruining them. But yeah, so let's get on with this. So right now I'm just going to show you. So again, my wig came with a wig cap. So if you're getting um, a wig from Amazon, they will come with a wig cap. So also, this is the hairstyle we're trying to go for. Except now we're so crazy, just we're trying to do me comments. So, yeah. so here's the package. Here's the package. So this is a dark purple wig. Yeah. And it's map of beauty. I don't know that. Yeah. Just in case you wanted like a purple wig to do this. So So here it is. Ooh, okay, she be falling. Uh so let's hurry up because just yeah, it's starting to get tangled, so we gotta I gotta brush it out. So here's how long the wig is. Um, it's a really vibrant purple, maybe. I don't know. And then these are the bangs, obviously. Um, so each wig that I got off Amazon, um, they all come in with this stuff in the inside. You don't need it, so you can just toss that out, unless you wanna, unless you have like another wig that you wanna close in. But okay, so here's the wig. As you can see, it is very long. Yeah. Um. So each wig that I got off Amazon, um, come with these clips in the back, um, to adjust your head size. I don't use them because I have a really big head. At least that's what my mom and dad tell me. Um, <laughs> but I have a uh, big head, so I never really adjust it. Um, the good thing is though about this one is that it's black, and the other one that I have is like a beige color. So that I do like about it. Also, these Amazon wigs do shed. Which is the only problem. So if you end up getting an Amazon wig, just know they shut. Also, the noise in the background is my fan. That's the reason why it's blowing the wig. Um, and the only reason why I have it on, and I could turn it off, but the only reason why I have it on, one, for the noise, and two, because I'm very hot, and it's very hot in my room. Not physically, but mentally. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm going to keep the bag in case I need it for any of my other wigs. But if I end up getting a different wig, and I need to do that. So, yeah. That is a wig. Um, I would try it on right now. But I'm not going to. Oh, I forgot to mention one thing. You're going to need pins. Because, um, to hold the wig down on your wig head, if you do not have a wig head, you can use your own head. I wouldn't recommend it, and I'd recommend using a wig head, but if you don't have one and you can afford one, and let's say you have siblings, take their head. <laughs> don't say I'm just kidding. Um, but yeah, you, um, if you don't have a wig head, you can either go get one. Or you can do it off your own hand. But I wouldn't recommend doing that because then you'd have to look at a mirror to see what you're going to cut and stuff. So I wouldn't recommend doing that. Um, also, there's just a bunch of other things that I'm going to be using in this video that I will link down in the description. Because it's way too much for me. And I don't feel like talking. So yeah. So let's get on with the styling of the wig. So I'm gonna take it over to my big table because I have to stand up. Well, sit down, but like I can't be here to do it because y'all know what the vibe that Veronica is too tall for me to cut the wig and stuff. So, and I want to show you what's happening up here. So 
we gotta go stand up for this. So yeah. Also, if you hear any noise in the background, it is my channel. Also, I gotta do this quick. Um, I'm tr I'm tr I'm gonna try my best not to rush, but it's because family's coming over again. But it's because maybe we don't know. But it's because we're gonna be doing um a pool party maybe. I don't know or barbecue. Who knows? But yeah, so let's um go over there. So I gotta take you over to my other table. And I'll take everything with me except my white cap because I don't need it. Maybe actually that. Hi, how y'all doing? I know the lighting is terrible over here. Well, we should do that. That actually gives good lighting. Why do I have like the best lighting back there? But over here, worse. Like, you can't even see my face. Like, I have to get up close for you guys to see my face. But that's fine, because it's not my face you're gonna be looking at. It is still work. So, let's get started. I'm gonna try moving this up so I can have, so we can have light. So you guys can see what's actually happening. So let me move this down. I have to be careful because that's like my way here. Some spider literally chose to do its spider web on my window. What in the world? Thank you very much, spider. Dude. I don't know. Whatever, we're just gonna have to deal with no lighting. Okay. Again, I'm sorry if my lighting is terrible. With what I have to Okay, so for the pins, uh, you can use any pins if you sew and stuff. You can use sewing pins to hold down the weight. Um, if you use a sock, then you can just hold it. You're just gonna have to deal with it, not hold the stain. Yeah. So, I know my back is good. This girl has been just can't see it. the wig is literally messed up and also look at how long she is man mm -hmm. so I think this wig is longer than my other wig that I use for me comp So you just take your needle and you poke it at the top. Um, also, I'm gonna try my best to show you guys what's happening, but this might be hard. Yeah. And then what you can do to also hold it on is you take these, which are the things you use to clip, um, like to adjust the head size. Um, 
Well, you can take that and clip it together, and then that's also another way you can hold on to this. Um, but yeah. Okay, so now, fun part, we're gonna brush it all out. This is like the best part ever having a wig. Brushing it out. Because, you know, baby girl's gonna be messy. Also, it's, when you're cutting this, make sure you have like a trash can next to you because things are gonna get really messy. So, like, since you're gonna be cutting the wig and stuff, because again, we're trying to do makeup to make it here. So, yeah. Well, I've been watching a lot of videos and stuff, and a lot of people do their wigs differently. So, yeah. And also, I realized that no one has a wig tutorial on how to do Mimi Kansumiki wig wig styling. So, this is possibly going to be the first time that there is a Mimi Kansumiki wig styling. Also, I normally don't post twice in a day. But today, I just did because I had to post another video and I meant to post it um, on Friday. But I never had the chance to since my family came over. So I had to post it today because yesterday I went to a river with my family. So I just couldn't do that either. Okay. So now that you have your wig all brushed out um now what you're gonna do you know what we're gonna do something there we go so you guys can actually see what's going on i'm gonna put the camera here so like now you can actually kind of That was a mess, and you can see what it was like. So, yeah. So, again, this, this. I'll put it all down here so I have it closer. I'm going to my trash can. I'm gonna need some like clips and stuff for this next part because you're gonna be cutting a lot of hair. I actually might even need some hair for that too because things are gonna get messy. Uh, I was just here but there's a messy clip in this one. So yeah. So now you guys can probably see me eating better. Gang. Okay, so here's the way. So we're gonna need to hold her back. And I don't have a hair tie right now because the other one I have is holding my purple crawl wig, which you guys have as well. This is what I do then. Because you need to hold back all of her pretty hair. That's not a wig. I'm sorry if this video ends up taking forever. 
But we have a lot of stuff to do, so we're gonna have to pick one. So now, so what you're gonna do now, you can finally get on to this, is you're gonna take the wig and you're gonna you're gonna take the back of the hair because right now we're gonna focus on the bangs. So you're gonna take the wig's hair. Make sure you separate the bangs from the part that you're going to be holding on to. Okay. So as you can see, Now we're going to move on to actually do the wig bangs. I'm sorry. Sorry, my way is really not working. Excuse me, mister. Also, if your wig has a knot in it, just like carefully take that section and knot it off and then get the knot out of there because that's not gonna be good. So make sure you don't do that. Just wanna let you know. So then you're gonna take your wig. Again. And now, any of the bangs that you have that are nasty and don't have, like, if this is not the best for the bang, um, you're gonna cut it off because we don't like it. So, cut that off. Okay, now, this is the part where your bobby's gonna come in. That way, number one. <laughs> um, so you're gonna take different parts of the hair. You can get a rusty photo for you for this next part. Um, but I'm not because I've seen so many people cosplay enough that I already know what her hair looks like. So I don't need to do any um stuff with any of that photo. So you section I'm I'm gonna try my best to show you guys. So you take a piece of the hair. And you take a bobby pin. Then I will bank down the description box of what it is I'm using and where it is you can get these. So, the other bobby pin now. Oh, you can't do this. So, you have one piece of section um, of your bobby pin. Okay, I am putting it on 
for two days. And you're just gonna section it. I'm sorry, this is really hard to show because I'm like the way your face is moving is on the camera and stuff. And like it should be my back facing the camera. That way you guys can actually see what you're doing and what's going on. But uh I need to squint the way you want to turn around. You guys can't really see. Also, again, you're going to need a trash can right next to you because things can get messy. Okay, this is a big step. So, um, I'm sorry, I just had soda. I'm sorry. So, and I'm also very tired because I'm on super late. So, because I can't sleep. No, like it was like one or two that I was so tired of. Because I couldn't sleep for some reason. All we did was on my birthday. And then we get the last piece of Okay, so here's what you're gonna wanna do. Y'all can't see it, but trust me, it's probably because they're there, holding up their hand. So, I'm gonna go. Okay, this is the part where I have to turn around so I can show you guys what you guys need to do. Wait, my hand is like this. Oh, my hand is Okay. We're good. This part. Trash can. Have it right next to you. Um, you're gonna take one of those parts that you bobby pin and you're gonna cut it, like, you're just gonna cut that and try and do that. Then you can fix it however you want. You remove the bobby pin and put it back. Also, yes, it is okay if you mess up on how you cut it because a home hair is not the prettiest thing. So it is okay to mess up. Then this is a bobby pin. Go away that way. Make it a bit bigger. There. Also, you can hold out your hand underneath of the thing and cut it that way. Um, so yeah. Okay, so for this one, you need to cut it like, where it's like really, really short. So like this. You do it to here. So this part, Yeah, 
And then, so here it is. Sprinkle some love in there. Okay, so you guys watch your ears. Okay, so now once you finish doing that, you stand up. And you take off all of the wig here that fell on you in your shape. Um, a multiple you can get any color time for back your hair. Um So then that's how it is. Finish it up. Okay, so then again, take all that wig So now that you finish doing that, now see how beautiful she looks. Okay. Where's my hair? So then you're gonna up the hair now. Now for this next part, it might actually be kind of pretty because now we're gonna move on to cutting the hair. Fine, right? So you know what you're gonna do now. Is you're gonna take two of these, like you're gonna take this, you're gonna do that. Make sure it's thick. Make sure you do it for both sides because, yeah. Now what you're gonna do with those two pieces, you're gonna take your scissors and guess what? You guessed it, you're gonna cut it for them. So so one side you're gonna wanna make short and the other side long. So 
again, you don't have to do this. All it will give you is what the entire one will do. So, yeah. See, one side's long, the other is short. So, yeah. So now that you've gotten that done, So you can do that, or you don't have to do this, you can just go grab the top of one, or I guess you can do it if you want to. Um, but yeah. Also, I don't know if this is like really much of like a makeup tutorial, this is more of just me styling my wig. For the video, like how I style my wigs, so like, yeah, I don't know. So now, this is the fun part you're gonna mess up your wig, you're gonna take your comb and you're gonna pull out. So you take part of the hair What you're going to do is you guys said people cut it not too long. Just a tiny bit long. And you take another piece of wig. And you're going to put it here. So then you're going to take another piece. Now, we'll flip this. Now, you're going to take not too big, not all the time, but kind of big. You're going to take a piece of the hair like this. I'm going to cut it. There you go. So now you know what to do. So you can kind of do that and mess around with your wig. Uh, it can make it very easy to control your whatever. Uh, and yeah.
So, uh, yeah, now I'm done. Try on the wig. Let me see how it's gonna look. Also, I'm gonna look really weird because I don't have, I'm not gonna have makeup on and stuff. So, yeah, but I'm also gonna show you guys how to put on a wig cap and stuff. Or if you don't already know how to do so. Um, rest in place. I'm gonna grab your wig cap. Um, I prefer using a matted wig cap again. I have a whole bunch. I'm gonna use my brand new one because I like to like try them all on and then after that, like, put that way, then it's not like new anymore. Used and stuff, so that way it's like, you know, uh, um, so you're gonna take your hair. So, a lot of people with short hair have it easy, but since my hair is like really fluffy, um, it's not gonna work. So, you're gonna take your hair, okay, you're gonna take your hair, put it in a ponytail if you have like really thick curly hair, um. And then you're gonna take your wig cap. So there's two sides of a wig cap. So there's that really thick side, and then there's that thin side. So you're gonna. So I'm gonna. Well, if you have glasses on, take them off. Who cares? But you're gonna place it over your head. You're gonna do the check on your head. And you're gonna find the thick side. You're gonna push that up to there. Again. Okay. 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 Really, really like when you like put it on your head. Okay. 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 Sorry, I have a mirror here, so like, okay. Once you have your wig cap on, um, then you take your close one. So this is the close one that I was talking about, as you can see. So it's not a netted wig cap; it's a normal one. So it's a very long one. So you're gonna take it from the back. Uh, you can do this. Uh, you don't have to put two on, but I do it because. In there. Yeah. So now once you have like there. So now I know I look like an egg, but yeah. Now that you have her on. No, we're gonna move back over here because honestly you cannot see us not the camera. And the best lighting is over here. Okay, now that we have good lighting now because there's a lighting stuff. Um, sorry, I just need this air blowing on my face. Okay, so here's that arm. Yeah. Um, when my um aunt though does my braids, cause she gives me these braids. Um, my hair normally would be a lot flatter than this probably, so, yeah, you can put your hair in braids and stuff, whatever, um, again, if you have thick, short hair like me, or long hair, put your hair in your ponytail, um, if you have short hair, and if you have long hair, put your hair in, like, really low, on a low bun, um, and then you can put it on like that, if it's, like, thick, like, if your hair is really thick, um, but yeah. So now we're gonna put on this baby that I cut. Mm -hmm. 
from now cold. But yeah. So I'm gonna take off the pins. I'm sorry, it's just it's like really hot. Okay. So now you're gonna take the wig off, your wig head. And you're gonna put it on your head. So I normally put on my wigs like this. You don't have to, but they're really hard. Okay. Okay. So again, most people look really weird with a wig on with like no makeup on. So that could be a reason why it looks so weird. Um Okay, I'm gonna cut this part here. the recon wig. So here it is. There she is. Um, I'm trying to find the parts that I did. So I don't have any makeup on and stuff. Um, so yeah. So I look really weird but this is what the wig looks like once you have cut it also it's fine if you messed up because literally Nikon's hair is a mess so there so it literally does not matter. Yeah. Also, it's okay if you like end up poofing it out because the messier it is, the better. So that's what I like to do. Okay. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like from the back side. So I have to turn it on. How long the wig is? Um, I literally can't see my people from the back side. But I can't get into cosplay today. So I'm the outfit too. I need a new, I need new makeup. Sure.
Visitors are coming over, so also because I lost my other skirt. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I'm looking at myself from the mirror. I know, I'm being like really weird. I'm sorry. Okay, you're gonna wanna use it up. If you do this poorly. I'm probably gonna go downstairs and show my parents. And that's what Yeah, no, I'm probably gonna go to sleep. Like, oh, I'm awake, like, like, I'm probably actually just gonna show my mom. Okay, that is all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video of me styling my Mekong wig, which I know I've been waiting for a very long time. Um, so hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Um, I know I enjoyed it getting my wig and styling it, um, but yeah, so if you enjoyed the video, kill that smash, kill that like button, and I will see you little rats, one subscribe, in the next video, yeah, okay, bye, oh my god, bye, let me come to the spot.